Hey guys, Sable IV DC here, and welcome back to another episode of Crazy Climbing. Today we're going to jump into things with a brand new team featuring Raichu, Gyarados, Duraludon, Dragapult, Indeedee, and Phalanx, also known as The Boys. So I built this team with a friend of mine, Fiona, also goes by Yoshi and Luya online. So if you want to check her out, feel free to do that. But basically, we're going to look at the team right now. So Phalanx, not really a Pokemon you see too much of, because it, mainly because it loses to the Pokemon that is the most common in the format. Togekiss. If you run into a Togekiss, you do not want to be using a Phalanx. But, it is the main setup of our team, so we've got Raichu for takeout support, uh, Ndidi for follow me support, as well as some other good picks like Gyarados, Dragapult, and Duraludon. And Duraludon is basically our only Togekiss answer, like the only one that we have, but we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, Phalanx, the big thing about Phalanx is the move No Retreat, so basically it boosts every single one of its stats plus one, and that's really really big, especially in a format where there's not too many heavy hitters so getting all those stats to plus one makes it really tough to take down and it hits a lot of things pretty hard uh, and we actually don't see a Togekiss so off to a good start but let's uh I don't like Trick Room either with this team uh, okay so Torkoal, Charizard, Dusclops, Rhyperior, Butterfree and Gastrodon for my opponent 100% uh, going to be rocking Phalanx here there's no doubt in my mind in fact I might just go right through Phalanx in fact I will I get fake out pressure, I can go for the rock slide if I really need to. Because rock slide phalanx will normally kill the Charizard. Not if it maxes, but if it doesn't max, I'll be able to pick up the Charizard. I'm expecting him to save his max for the Rhyperior. I'm also going to go Duraludon Gyarados. I feel like this is the best case scenario. Because I can always fake out rock slide that'll kill the Butterfree. And then from there we should be able to win the game. Hopefully. The big thing here for me is stopping Trick Room. If we can stop Trick Room, I can go for no retreat and sweep the game from there but it's going to be a matter of actually stopping that trick room. I feel like we have the tools, it's going to be actually executing. Let's see what my opponent goes for here. He does go Dusclops Butterfree, so trick room most likely going up here because I'm forced to fake out Butterfree. Obviously I can't fake out Dusclops here, so he actually is going to frisk us, which is a bit annoying, but he knows I'm focused at right here now, which honestly though, probably not the most surprising thing in the world. Uh, see, I could go for fake out into Butterfree here, or I could go Volt Switch Rock Slide. If I Volt Switch, does that give me any sort of better positioning? No, not, not at all. <laughs> so I'm just going to let him go for the Trick Room here. I'm going to go Fake Out Rock Slide. If he maxes the Butterfree and survives, I'm really not concerned. So Butterfree is actually going to protect right here. So maybe we'll get the flinch with Rock Slide. <laughs> I don't know. I, this team does not have much of a Trick Room matchup. Like it's winnable, but it's tough. It's winnable, but super tough. So Phalanx there, dropping to rocks, not going to do anything to Dusclops right there. And he does indeed get that Trick Room up. So super unfortunate there, but not the end of the world. Uh, I feel like maybe Duraludon is probably the best case, one of the better swap-ins right now. But I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go Volt Switch off of this Butterfree. And I'm actually going to swap Duraludon and... Uh, I'll swap Gyarados in for the... Uh, yeah, we'll go Gyarados for the... Uh, Whoops, wrong way. I did that the wrong way. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, I Volt Switch and then I go Gyarados for the Phalanx. I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm panicking and it's the first battle with the team. But I am going Gyarados for Phalanx here. That way if I'm expecting to Spore or the Sleep Powder, I should say, going into this Gyarados, I'll take it off with my Lumberry. Uh, Dust Clubs goes for Nightshade. Goes into Gyarados right there. That's a decent chunk of damage. But if he does go Sleep Powder, it is going to target that Gyarados. So I'm 100% okay with this. Gyarados is going to be asleep, but Gyarados is going to eat the Lumberry. See, for me, this is one of those weird things. You're asleep, but you still have enough energy to eat a Lumberry. I don't understand how that works out there. But Butterfree gets hit super hard right there. I also preserve Raichu's Sash, which I feel like is super, super good late game. And now Duraludon can come in. Duraludon will be able to knock out this Butterfree, so there's not no real reason to max quite yet. I also almost want to swap out of Gyarados right now. It's 100% a flash cannon going into Butterfree right now. Pick up that knockout. And I almost want to swap into Raichu. Just because I want to have Gyarados in the back as a ground type, as a ground immunity for the switch into the right period. That's obviously going to come in at some point. And that's what we'll do. We'll go Raichu here for Gyarados. Not sure if it's going to work out perfectly. And it actually might just be better to not kill this Butterfree. 
right? Stall out these turns of Trick Room. But one turn's gone. This will be the second turn of Trick Room right now. Dust Club's gonna go Night Shape. Definitely gonna break my Sash. That's alright. Not the end of the world right there. Enduralodon Flash Cannon is going to connect and it will indeed pick up the Butterfree. So, we're in an interesting position right now. It all depends on. I, he's gotta bring in Rhyperior here, you would assume. Right? It's actually gonna be Torkoal. So. If he's not maxing the Torkoal, I actually am able to fake it out. However, I think maxing Duraludon here is just fi is fine anyways, because if he maxes Torkoal, personally, in my opinion, that's a waste of his max. Like, it should be used on Rhyperior. And I'm also going to fake out this uh, Torkoal as well. If I lose Raichu, I lose Raichu. It's not the biggest win condition right now for me. And he, okay, I was going to say, and he is going to max Torkoal, but it's not going to be a max into that Torkoal, so it's going to be just me going for my Dynamax onto the Duraludon here. Meaning, I am going to be allowed to get this uh, fake out off. And he might protect, but once again, if he's protecting, he's stalling out his own, he's stalling out his own trick. Game. Yes, he'll get it back up with dust off because I really can't kill that thing. But right now, I'm in a decent spot, I think. Raichu is indeed gonna go fake out, so gonna connect. Torkoal will not be moving this turn. We're probably gonna see another nightshade from this dust buff. That's fine. Into the Duraludon. Uh, questionable because I feel like you go for two of those into the Raichu. To knock it out, but I'm not going to complain about the fact that I just killed this Torkoal for free. So Torkoal goes down, and we've got one more turn of Trick Room, I believe. Question becomes, what's his last Pokemon? I feel with two ground, uh, two things that just get destroyed by ground types. I, I was going to say you would have brought your Rhyperior in sooner, but he's bringing his Rhyperior in right now. The question is, is he going to go self bulldoze, and can he still kill Duraludon even though I'm maxed? I think at the end of the day, I Wormwind to Dusclops here, and I'm going to Volt Switch out off of this Dusclops. I'm not going to try and target this Rhyperior. I'm going to leave it for late game with the Gyarados. That's kind of my game plan right now, but I do need to somehow, I need Duraludon to live right now. If Duraludon dies to a plus two max quick, we're in a lot of trouble. I mean, I do still have a chance with the Rock Slash and the Phalanx, but that's... If Rhyperior gets up and starts, it's ready to sweep, we're in trouble. Like, I need to get the attack drop off. He does indeed go for that self bulldoze here. Raichu, of course, gonna survive. See, this is what I was saying why he should have nightshaded the Raichu last turn. But maybe he knows he needed to chip my Duraludon, and that could very well be a great play on his end. We're gonna see if I'm able to survive off this. After this Max Quake here. I also don't know if he's gonna go Max Quake. He might try to over predict me to swap out. But he is indeed going to go Max Quick. We are going to see it connect. Obviously, it's a Max move. Into this uh, Duraludon here. And at plus two, it will indeed pick up the Knockout cleanly. So that is not something you like to see right now. But the one thing I have going for me is I have Raichu. That's the one thing I have going for me right now. And the fact that Trick Room's ending. I have Raichu in. With Trick Room ending, I can kind of play around with things here. Volt Switch obviously going off right now. Going to Duraludon. I'm going to do absolutely nothing. And Raichu's going to go back to me. Um, I want to bring Phalanx in here. However, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Like, I need to almost save Gyarados for a point where... Yeah, I think I have to save Gyarados. So I'm going to go Phalanx and bring Raichu in on the side. So the boys are coming back in. But I do, <laughs> I do think this one's slightly over. But Raichu comes in. If I can somehow somehow get Gyarados into a 1v1 versus this Rhyperior, I have a chance, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Nuzzle because I can't pick up the Dynamax, and Nuzzle is one of the one of the best options for me to stop his Trick Room. And I could go No Retreat here, but I just feel like if I go No Retreat, I, he's going to get the Trick Room back up. So I have to go Rock Side and go for the flinches. I could also go Iron Head, but I don't think that's worth it. Rhyperior is actually going to max guard, which is very questionable if you ask me. He's wasting a turn of max right here. So if I can get this flinch right now, I think we did just pull this back. But I do need to get this flinch still, or the full para. Either or will work. Which I mean, I have pretty decently high percent, pretty decent percent chance if uh, you're considering Pokemon terms here. And he does get that trick room up. So uh, there goes that high chance that I had. Okay, so assuming he nightshades the Raikou here. I'm going to go into Gyarados to take the Nightshade, and for with Phalanx, I'm assuming I'm just going to die. I would protect if I could, but I'm considering the fact I don't think I'm going to get the Protect off, 
He's already triggered the weakness policy. I feel like close combat into Rhyperior might be the best play. Even though I'm probably going to die. By swapping out Raichu here and getting Gyarados in, his Dynamax will end and then I have Fake Out Pressure. And then Gyarados should hopefully be able to do something from there. Dusclop does go Nightshade, does connect into the Gyarados, that's fine. And I'm assuming we're going to see a max move going out here into the Phalanx. Yep, into the Phalanx it goes. And there's no way we live this, I'm not that bulky. <laughs> Phalanx's defenses are also not that good. But basically with Phalanx you really want to get that no retreat off. And uh, I was unable to do that this time because of the trick room. But Phalanx going down, I don't think we're out of this right now. His Dynamax ends, I can fake out Waterfall. Of course, we know that he's going to protect this... Uh, can he protect? Yeah, he's going to have Protect on Rhyperior, right? He should have Protect on Rhyperior. Uh, okay, I think Sun is gone, right? He actually has Sun for one more turn, which is a little bit annoying. But that's alright. I, I need Dust Bluffs to get fully paralyzed here. Yeah, uh, he's just going to protect Rhyperior. Knowing he's going to protect Rhyperior, I actually am going to double the Dusclops. But that doesn't help me. Hold up, that doesn't help me anyways. I need him to not protect. Yeah, I need him... Actually, how many more turns of Trick from Rhyperior? Three? Yeah, there's three, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I've lost this game. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go for the fake out of Rhyperior anyways, but he's going to protect you. Yeah, Rhyperior does protect. Unless he starts missing Rock Slides. If he starts missing Rock Slides, we have a chance. Fake out, obviously, I do still need this full para. Probably not going to get it, and I do not get it. Because, you know, why would I get it? But I could still have him miss Rock Slide. But this whole game is basically me hoping that he got hacked out, and that's uh, not really much of a win time. Gyarados going for Waterfall, going into Dust Puffs. That's going to do absolutely nothing in the sun, and the Harsh Sunlight is going to fade. So now I need to somehow find a way to either A, stall out Trick Room. I could go for a double protect, but the double protect doesn't help me because on the last turn, of, then he'll just protect and go for the Trick Room again. So I'm going to hope that he do, that I can dodge one of these Rock Slides or a Rock Record. I don't know which one he's going to choose, but we are going to see Nightshade from this Dust Clops. It will not kill me, I don't think. Yeah, no, I have 82, so I will survive that. And Rock Slide from right here is going to connect and pick up this Knockout, no doubt in my mind. So, not the greatest start. Tough matchup for us there, but this is the issue with Phalanx. Like, there's too many matchups right now that it's just too weak to. But I really wanted to try it on the channel because, you know, it's a Phalanx and how do you not like the boys? I, I'm going to have to go in DD mode at some point, I think. Like, in DD with Follow Me and the Psychic Seed on uh, Phalanx just kind of makes it pretty bulky, especially after getting a no retreat off. So, hopefully we can actually feature that in one of these battles. It's just tough to do. Of course, I was happy that we didn't see Togekiss, but we found the second worst matchup for our team, and that's uh, Trick Room, which actually might be worse than Togekiss. Because if the Togekiss maxes, I can always follow me that max away. I also have max Steel Spike and max Rockfall with the Phalanx, so if he doesn't max, he's taking big damage. We're going to find Sopra here with a rating of 6,741, 6, and there's the Togekiss. So Togekiss, Lapras, Corviknight, Mudsdale, Dragapult, and Charizard. So interesting team for my opponent right here. I definitely think Ndidi is a really good lead. I think I'm going to go Ndidi Duraludon. You know, Ndidi Duraludon, by doing that, it allows me to put immediate pressure on the Togekiss with the Duraludon. Force, it might force him into something like the Mudsdale, which uh, would allow me to Take, take one of the threats off the field and allow, allow Phalanx to set up in the back if I try, choose to call that switch in, but that's a long, uh, that's a long shot, but I do think, oops, did I lead Dragapult? I meant to bring uh, Duraludon there, uh, so indeed Duraludon for sure. Uh, I almost want Raichu, but from experience with this team, you don't really want to be going Raichu and Ndidi in the same game. I feel like you want one mode or the other. So Raichu, you're going to stay on the bench here, so I'm going to have to find another way to deal with this uh, Lapras. And Phalanx is 100% the way I think I'm going to do that. And I think I need Gyarados over Dragapult here. Like, as much as I like Dragapult for the fast offense, I think I need Gyarados for at least a, somewhat of a chance to survive a Togekiss attack. Like, this team needs a little bit harder of the Togekiss answers. Like, Duraludon doesn't really resist it. Like, I, I have nothing that really can come in and just eat up a Dazzling Gleam, which is the big, uh, the big issue. But, 
you know what? It's it's still fun to play. So we're gonna see what we can get going here. We're gonna see Corviknight Dragapult for my opponent. So I'd say that's a pretty good lead if you ask me, because we've got indeed Dura loot on. Um, how do I want to play this? Part of me wants to leave that Dragapult alone right now. Because I feel like he might swap that Dragapult into Togekiss. I could also go for a, like a, a follow me and max steel spike into the Dragapult. Like I could max steel spike the Dragapult, that should kill. If he swaps into Togekiss, that will also kill. In fact, that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the follow me. Make sure he's not targeting my Duraludon here. I will max Duraludon, and I'm going to go Steel Spike, and it's going to go into Dragapult. Let's see if he goes for the uh, swap in here. He's not going to swap out, so I could have just maxed Wormwinded here. Of course, not really going to matter, because I can't drop either of these two Pokemon stats. So, at the end of the day, Steel Spike raising our defense might actually be the better move in general. Anyways, as long as this picks up the knockout. And he's not maxing, because my Duraludon maxed first, which means this thing's probably going to die. Let's see what my opponent wants to go for though. Might be might be seeing a taunt from the Corviknight. I'm assuming we're gonna see like a fan could be a Phantom Force as well, which would be slightly annoying. But Dragonfold actually gonna go U-turn. So I'm actually really, really hoping now it is that Togekiss. If we catch this Togekiss here and he kills Indeedee, we've won the game. Because he won't be able to break uh Phalanx. It actually is gonna be Togekiss, so you know I'm not completely talking crazy when I said I was gonna steal spike the Duraluna. But he actually is Babiri Berry, so we haven't quite won yet, but... Duraludon, big steel spike going out into the Togekiss right now, and that's going over half, yeah. Can't complain there, I feel like he was thinking that he was going to get me on to uh, waste my max move. Which is why, I, which is the exact reason I didn't want to go for the max win win there. And we are going to see, Corviknight's actually just going to click Tailwind, and I'm alright with that. Obviously I'm not concerned about this Togekiss anymore, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to Helping Hand this Duraludon, because I'm pretty sure he's going to take a DD off the field here, and I'm going to go Max Lightning. I'm not sure if this picks up the knockout, but it'll once again, it'll get rid of the two flying types, is my main goal. Get rid of the flying types, and Falling should be able to win this game in the back. Toke is going to go Dazzling Gleam, going to kill the DD, leave Duraludon on the field. That's fine, that's the main reason I didn't want to go for the follow me. Corviknight's actually going to go Body Press right now, so decent chunk of damage. But Duraludon, Max Lightning, Helping Hand boosted, will it pick up a knockout? Yeah, just gonna absolutely murder that Corviknight, so very happy we pick up that knockout right there. Of course, getting Electric Terrain really does not matter here. Part of me wishes, I was gonna say Dragapult, I would've brought Dragapult here, but that doesn't help me because he does have that Tailwind up. I really want to get Phalanx in. However, because of the fact that he has Togekiss on the field, I have to go Gyarados and try to kill this Togekiss here. And Mudsdale coming in for my opponent, even better for me not seeing that Charizard. It is still going to be tough to break though, so I'm I will happily Steel Spike this Togekiss every day of the week. That will pick up that knockout, and I have no clue what, I want to, what I'm going to do here with Gyarados. I think I'm actually going to bounce into the Togekiss slot. And of course I am going to Steel Spike here into this Togekiss, get another defense boost. I could also technically Wormwind his Mudsdale, but it's going to be a max, he's going to max the Mudsdale. That's a given fact, and I expect to see that every day of the week right here. My main reason for bouncing is, one, if he goes for Rockfall, it will miss. Two, next turn, if he brings in Dragapult, he won't be able to target my Gyarados down. Which is the big reasoning right there. And Mudsdale also won't be able to kill Duraludon, so I feel like there's a chance he does actually target. There's a chance he does target this Gyarados here with a Rockfall of some sort. But Gyarados is indeed going to bounce up. And uh, let's see what he does indeed go for max rockfall. So if you were ever wondering how high you actually bounce, it is higher than the max rockfall's rock. So you do have to get quite up there. And we're going to get a defense boost right now. Which is another huge defense boost, I should say. Because Dragapult, I'm assuming, is a physical Dragapult. And this Mudsdale now, trying to break through a plus two Duraludon, is not going to be as easy for it as non boosted Duraludon, as I almost dropped my controller. But Dragapult coming back in right now, so. In a decent spot right now, the question becomes, is he going to be Phantom Force Dragapult? If he's Phantom Force, we have an issue. If he's not Phantom Force, we're alright. The question is, is he going to be Phantom Force? I feel like he could just get away with like maybe like a Dragon Claw or a Dart and a high horsepower into my Duraludon. That might pick up the knockout. 
But I'm gonna go for this Draco Meteor anyways. See if I can knock it out that way. I still I, I could swap in the Phalanx, but I do think doubling the Dragapult here is the best case scenario. I'm gonna see what my opponent wants to do. Dragapult is gonna go Dragon Claw, so he looks like he is going to double into this Duraludon, I'm assuming. Gyarados is gonna come down with the bounce. Dragapult's going to avoid the attack, that's fine. And he is going to max quick and even at plus two. Zero loot on eight with him that. Missing that uh, bounce kind of hurts now. Yeah, missing that bounce is huge. But still, of course, getting that special defense boost. Not the end of the world, because it really doesn't matter. But the big thing I'm concerned about here is, well, the Tailwind's gone, which is good, but the concern here is this uh, Dragapult's going to start dishing out massive amounts of damage. And Phalanx doesn't outspeed it after a no retreat, because it's impossible. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna bounce once again. I could also protect. Uh, I'm gonna bounce, and I'm gonna, I am gonna go for this no retreat here. No retreat is the play of choice for this uh, phalanx, and we're gonna see if we get to get this off. Dragapult going for the dragon claw goes into the phalanx actually and does over 50%, which is horrifying. Gyarados going for a bounce, gonna spring up high, and I'm assuming my opponent will be smart and try to target my phalanx here, but we are gonna get this no retreat off first. So no retreat coming out. That is a really cool animation. That's actually the first time I've seen that in game, I'm not gonna lie. But Phalanx's attack is gonna go up, and basically everything else will follow suit. Uh, and I can no longer escape, but that's fine. And Max Quick, my opponent, is being smart right there. And will this be enough to pick up a knockout? I feel like it would be. Yeah. So Phalanx is gonna get absolutely bodied right there. But like, I don't know. I want to say missing that bounce hurt me, but I really don't think it did. Like, I'm trying to figure out where I lost this game. Uh. So let's see, he had Corviknight, I picked that knockout up, I picked the, made the right read turn one. Uh, I think honestly just not having, uh, should I, I think, uh, let's see how much this bounce is actually going to do. Normally I'd forfeit right here, but I actually cannot forfeit, because, you know, I'm in the air. Dragonfold's going to go Dragon Claw and miss, Gyarados is going to dodge, of course, because I'm in the air. Gyarados is going to bounce this time, connect, and that actually does do 50%, so, missing there kind of does, is a bit unfortunate. I wonder if I should have... Wormwinded. Well, that and left the Togekiss on the field a little longer, rather than letting Dragapult come back in. Then I then I lower Mudsdale's attack, and that might get me somewhere. I don't know. Like I, I'm really really curious. I felt like the the first few turns of that game, I gained huge momentum with the Duralu on it. I don't know where I lost it. I'm not gonna lie. I do get a nice little big nugget as a reward for losing, but. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I will try to do the boys a little bit of justice in the next episode, and I will see you guys there.